It's a year of celebrations in Vanuatu, as the country marks its 25th anniversary of independence. But today is an annual highlight of the social calendar in Port Vila, the Queen's birthday at the British High Kong. I've been here since uh, 1969, and I've been to most of the parties since 1969, with the exception of uh, the last three years when I've been rather ill. Sick or not, few would miss this year's party. It will be the last one. The British are leaving Vanuatu. I cried already and I'm going to cry when the flag goes down. You see, I got, I got my MBE from the Queen. And this is probably the saddest day of my life. You wouldn't believe the day would come when the British flag would come down. No, I wouldn't and I blame bloody Tony Blair. As for Elizabeth and me, we're exchanging an island in the Pacific for an island in the Atlantic as we move on from here to the Ascension Island. For such an aid-reliant country, the closure of the British High Com is a reflective moment for Prime Minister Ham Leaney. But there are still other suitors out there. On behalf of all my predecessors and Over the last few years, Australia has tried to take on the role of the biggest brother, with mixed results. Last but not least, I would like the French ambassador is staying put, intent on retaining influence in the Pacific. The Chinese ambassador is a keen observer, back in force after Vanuatu briefly flirted with Taiwan last year. And a new player, Indonesia, is now entering the game. China's moving in, uh, Australia, the Indonesians. But they're not the same. Not the same. Other countries have an interest here and are moving in, uh, China, uh, Australia, other big countries are showing an interest in Vanuatu. Do you welcome them in the same way uh, that you would have uh, welcomed Britain? Uh, be very frank, no, I don't, I don't. As the afternoon wears on, some of the diplomatic niceties wear off. There's no place for Indonesian... Foreign affairs are taken very seriously here, and a controversy has recently erupted around the issue of West Papua. West Papua and indigenous For 25 years, Vanuatu has supported independence for the West Papuans and loudly condemned Indonesia as occupiers and killers. More recently, the welcome mat has been put out for Jakarta, an act which is dividing the nation and the government. He's, he's the one accepting these people again. Moana. You, you, blame, you blame Moana, do you? Yeah, I blame Moana. Yeah. The finance minister, Moana Karkasus, is keen to strengthen ties with Indonesia and water down Vanuatu's long support for the West Papuans. It could be a dangerous path for PM Han Lini. Governments often fall here on foreign policy issues, and on a more personal level, families divide. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Across the room is his niece, Laura Lini. She isn't speaking to him and moved out of his house a fortnight ago after he invited an Indonesian delegation to visit Vanuatu. Uh, he knows about what I believe in. And it is something that my family has always believed in. Is Laura Lini has become the most vocal opponent of her uncle's new affection for Indonesia and a founder of the Vanuatu Free West Papua Association. I don't believe that Vanuatu should ever compromise for its sovereignty to such nations as Indonesia. Oddly enough, the Indonesian ambassador to Australia, Imran Kotan, is at the centre of the controversy. In the absence of any formal relationships, he has become Indonesia's key negotiator in the wooing of the Vanuatu government. In May, demonstrations broke out on the streets of Port Vila when Kotan led a delegation to meet with the government. His car was stopped and surrounded in the main street with Laura Lini leading the pack. 
there was a chief that was there who stopped the car, but it uh, was not one flight, so they drowned the uh, car going back to the... I opened the flag and I said that Vanuatu does not need you here. Um, go back to where you come from. Um, Vanuatu people support the cause for independence for the West Papuan people. Laura and five others were charged with causing a civil disturbance, charges which were later dismissed. And I said to the magistrate, this is who I am. My name is Motari Horo Loralini. My address is the and Prime Minister's yes, uh, residence. Yeah. Yes, and I also told him who my father was and what he believed in, and I also believe in the same thing. It's no coincidence that emotions are running high on the West Papua issue in Vanuatu's 25th anniversary year. In the 1970s, both West Papua and Vanuatu were struggling for their independence. Vanuatu got there first and pledged not to leave West Papua behind. On July 30, 1980, a new and feisty nation entered the world stage, led by Father Walter Lee. Under Father Walter, this tiny country made a big splash. It virtually led the Nuclear Free Pacific movement and championed the liberation of New Caledonia and West Papua in particular. Walter Leany, now dead, was the current Prime Minister's brother and Laura Leany's father. I think I'm only taking up what my father has left off and, and I believe strongly on these issues and I do want to make people know that these issues are important and they're important for, Van for Vanuatu. No other country has taken up the West Papuan cause like Vanuatu has. Events like this one have long infuriated Indonesia. Last December, chiefs from every corner of the country gathered to raise the West Papuan flag and condemn the 1969 annexation of West Papua. But Vanuatu has caused more grief for Indonesia by being the only country that has consistently raised the West Papua issue at the UN and other forums. But that may be about to end. So the West Papuan issue is now a negotiable one with, uh, with uh, Indonesia? Actually, yes. We, can, we, we believe strongly that maybe by a good dialogue we can get agreement. It's an uncomfortable issue for the PM, but his support for West Papua is now on the bargaining table. So you are, you are signalling a change in, in Vanuatu's policy on, on West Papua? Actually, we still were support West Papua, but hard to handle that uh, maybe can be looked to us a change. Is there a political risk for the PM and for, and for other uh, members of that cabinet? Oh yes, yes, that, that's, that's, uh, uh, that's an issue that they have to face in the general election. Not all members of Ham Leaney's government agree with the recent policy switch. Veteran politician and independence leader Barak Sope is one minister who believes the West Papua issue is hot enough to bring down the government. And, and this is probably the only country on earth where West Papua is actually a, a domestic issue. A domestic issue, right? Yes, it's, it is. It is. Governments sort of uh, people get elected. Yes, because they, of that, yes, yes. Which is extraordinary. Yes. I mean, when you when you go around, when, when you go out to, to the rural areas and people ask you, what what is your foreign policy? Uh, and then you, when you explain it, even if you don't mention with someone in the audience, who say, what about your position on West Papua? Uh, because it's part of the part of the election campaign. If you look at all the platforms of all the parties, I'm sure in West the Papua next election, yeah, 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 it's yeah, written yeah. black and white. Independence can be a relative concept. <laughs> Twenty-five years on from the heady days of Father Walter Lini, the government relies on foreign aid more than ever. And Indonesian money is as good as anyone's. The Finance Minister, Moana Karkasus, has a practical view on what Vanuatu can offer donors in return. First thing we can offer them is, uh, you know, we have a voice important voice in the United Nations and that's one thing that we can offer to them and uh, I think Vanuatu has been good using that weapon 
if I may say that, uh, <laughs> wisely. Ham Leaney doesn't have the firebrand nationalism of his brother. He doesn't need it. The key skill of any Prime Minister today is attracting largesse from international friends. Vanuatu has mastered the art of playing upon the obsessions and interests of other countries. The Chinese fixated on defeating Taiwan in any forum and gaining a foothold in the Pacific. The French fretting about the loss of their language and the possible loss of more Pacific colonies. In 2004, 2005, Australia will be substantially increasing the aid to Australia in a panic about failed states in the Pacific and the possibility of terrorists lurking within them. The British still chipping in a little for Old Lang Syne. And behind them over long today morning, 11,000 mosquito nets. You go long head from government, Prime Minister Edward Nassabe. The price asked of Vanuatu is generally fairly painless. <laughs> but the latest international suitor, Indonesia, is asking for a much higher price. Mr. Kotani give him two new trucks, long government long Vanuatu. The abandonment of a fellow Melanesian people. We, we donate this as a sign of commitment that we would like to foster relations uh, based on mutual respect, mutual understanding and non-interference in our internal affairs. We have to think about Vanuatu. That's one thing. And I think the world are changing, the attitude are changing. In 1980, 1980s, the attitude was decolonization, strong, strong, strong. Yeah. Now I think the approach are changing. The world is changing at the moment. But we are caring about our brothers over there. Yeah. Until recently, Dr. John Ondawami has never had any trouble making connections here. There's no answer. A West Papuan, he moved here two years ago to lobby Vanuatu full time to help win back his country's freedom. But today's task is far less ambitious. He just wants his flag back, taken by the police when the Indonesian ambassador was in town. Maybe I, I go there at the police office to pick up my flag, uh, morning star. But I'm not sure that the, the, office, the office, uh, officer in charge is going to be there. That's A member of the outlawed OPM movement in West Papua, he was imprisoned, then exiled in Sweden and 10 years in Australia before coming here. For many days I have to keep them reflect. It's um, really very mad. Until recent times, the West Papuans have had more success in Vanuatu than any other place on earth. But now things have turned frosty. He's a bit shocked today that he can't even get his flag back. But a tug of war over a flag is a minor part of a much bigger game that's being played. It seems that Vanuatu is doing more than just playing the West Papuan card to draw in Indonesian aid. Talks are progressing for Vanuatu to sponsor Indonesia's entry into two regional associations which have proved most troublesome to Jakarta in the past. Discussions between Ambassador Kotan and Moana Karkasis have revolved around Indonesia becoming a member of the MSG, the Association of the Melanesian Nations, and the Pacific Islands Forum. It is so strong that uh, Indonesia should be part of the forum because he's a part of the Pacific. I don't see why Indonesia should be part of it. And because Indonesia is part of Melanesia, because there is Malaysia there, who then they should be part of the nation. The uh, inclusion of West Papua into Indonesia has been sanctioned by the UN resolution. Both the Melanesian group and the Pacific Island Forum are meeting in the next couple of months and the Vanuatu government is in the middle of making its decision on whether it will sponsor Indonesia inside. Barak Sope is outraged that his government is even talking to Indonesia, let alone sponsoring them into regional forums, and he believes the majority of cabinet shares his view.
my view of West Papua is uh, for them to get to total independence. Well, this has been the view of Vanuatu for 25 years. Uh, yes. You and uh, Father Walter are always yes. strong on this. Yes, yes. I mean, that's that's where I'm, I'm, I won't change now. Yeah. Just because I'm in a, a coalition. Over many years, Sope has raised the West Papuan issue at the UN and was a friend of murdered West Papuan leader, Five Chief Taze Alloway. Like Taze. Uh, uh, did Taze come here, did he? Yes, Taze came here during 2000, the delegation. Mm. After, no, he also was part of the Vanuatu delegation to the U United Nations mm. the year 2000 and then when he went back he got killed, he was killed. So this is why we're saying that, you know, how can Indonesia say that uh, they're looking after the West Papuans while they're killing them? I think Indonesia wants first uh, to show that uh, they are not the beasts that they used to be. There is a change of approach and attitude. And they come to Vanuatu saying that we have something to offer you, we have uh, trade to offer you, commerce, and uh, we can do business together. Whatever is coming to Vanuatu from Indonesia is, is almost nothing. You cars and tractors or something you, like that. You cars and tractors. Or... Well, I mean, are you disappointed then? Are you disappointed? In... Yeah, I'm, dis I'm, I'm totally disappointed in us receiving, you know, just because of receiving a couple of cars and uh, 200,000 more. Uh, people from Melanesian people have been killed for their freedom. The church function provides a little light relief for Prime Minister Ham Leaney. For the PM and his family, politics, although unspoken today, are never far away. Laura Lini sits on the other side of the field, away from the family and resolutely in opposition ever since she confronted Ambassador Kotan. Actually, since uh, she took part in that uh, uh, action that was made, she didn't come back uh, to my house to say anything. Yeah, <laughs> I only met her on Saturday when we were there, but uh, we haven't uh, talked about that. Really? But actually, maybe she's doing what uh, uh, his father was uh, had a very strong belief on that. I well, how do you feel about this? Uh, of course, uh, Father Lenny was your brother, and uh, he was very strong on West Papua. Do you feel a, a family commitment to this, or you think uh, it's time to to move on? As I said, I think uh, maybe it depends on situation, but now maybe it's time to look differently. Although she's now lost access to her uncle's dinner table, Laura Lini has been working overtime with the traditional chiefs of Vanuatu. The chiefs still exert enormous power here, and they have a strong attachment to West Papua, regarded by many as the home of Vanuatu's ancestors. If he comes out to say publicly that he's, um, he's going to have dialogue with um, Indonesia, and that will be a problem with the chiefs, because the chiefs have come out publicly to say that uh, we don't want to have anything to do with Indonesia. And politics, when it involves chiefs, it can become very, quite messy. There are many West Papuan support groups around the world, but few have this much clout. shameful Indonesia. Having the daughter of the most revered political leader in the country's history helps, and not many groups would have the leader of the opposition dash over from parliament when he hears their meeting. But the most important person here today is not a politician. It's a representative from the Council of Chiefs. On sacred ground on the outskirts of Port Vila, the traditional chiefs of Vanuatu are gathering. 
It's an extraordinary moment for West Papua, but John Ondawami is still fuming about his flag. They keep my flag. It's, I don't like it very much. And it's already people die for because of this flag. So I don't want to tolerate it anymore. I have a lot of patience for that. You've had, you've had enough. I ain't enough enough. Wow. <laughs> it's sorry. Well, you can see in the background we have some um, chiefs that are here. And there's the, at the moment waiting for the Prime Minister to arrive. Um, if the chiefs call a meeting, the Prime Minister will come. Yes. Always? He, he ha um, always. <laughs> yeah. Yes. They're going to tell the Prime Minister today that the West Papua issue is uh, now uh, on the hands of the chiefs of Vanuatu. We will hear what the Prime Minister will have to say, and, but I'm sure that he will be able to tell us this afternoon. Hopefully after today I will be able to go back to the house. Bev, what time on the ball, Prime Minister, when you come? I believe so you have a good custom. You start with them fashion long custom long with me. From you have number TV talk talk. TV talent number say, me will need him you. And you come through. With the courtesies out of the way, Chief Vera Van Glut gets into his stride. And me will ask him, come man, long. Now we are, Bombay. You be what? Before, all something Bombay me could Let them all wise man. As one of the wise men, Vera Van Glaat invokes the memory of the PM's dead brother, Walter Lini, the father of Vanuatu, and in an anniversary year, the memory of what Vanuatu once stood for. I'm from Isu Weblong, West Papua. The PM looks increasingly chastened as the chief picks up steam. From Bombay, you don't stop no more. Look at my friend country, Splong Yumi. Wally Sap 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 Sapa. For 20 minutes, the chief spells out his concerns about dealing with Indonesia. The ancestors came from West Papua. The blood that is spilt there is the blood of the chiefs of Vanuatu. And now we are all chief here, stop, get up. All chief where, why is he stop with the Blokata? So Blokata is smell. All is up stone, long tambu paya. Vera Van Glaat wraps up with a payment to the PM and offering more valuable than the gifts of any foreign emissaries, sacred mats and kava to seal the deal. So, an extraordinary transformation seems to take place with Ham Lini as he commits himself to the freedom of the West Papuans. Lini is a man of custom, but he's also a politician. He knows that chiefs have influence in every village in Vanuatu in a way that local members could only dream of. You talk straight about uh, West Papua? Yes, I talk about West Papua. I talk to West Papua. I talk to West Papua. I talk to the Prime Minister accepts the Chief's gifts and in doing so accepts their speech and their demands. And he must listen to you? Uh, yes, he listen to you. He must listen Can he Can he disagree? Does he have to obey or is he his own man? Uh, yes. Would there be trouble if he did not agree?
with the Melanesian nations meeting this month and the Pacific Islands Forum soon after. The coming weeks will tell whether old friends or new will prevail upon Ham Lee. The world is in the world.